Hey everybody, so we're here with my amazing homegirl Joanna. We go way back. <laughs> Joanna's pretty much what got me through Japan. Literally, if it were not for her, there's no way I'd be here today. <laughs> she, <laughs> she was at the inception of when I started the wild business of when I didn't even know the names of the oils, didn't know anything. I was just like, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> so let's hear about your story i'm gonna stay quiet now <laughs> well um again uh jenny was going through this a little adventure trying to figure out you know the oils it was it, like at first she was just like this is really cool i'm getting interested in this and then i remember you coming and being like man my you know my uplines are really going why aren't you doing this more why aren't you getting into this more you could do so much more and everything and being like do i want to and kind of making that decision going and um and then watching you decide yeah i'm going to be serious about this and see you grow and everything so i get to see all of that sorry guys um <laughs> but yeah so obviously at some point during this and watching her do it then she you know sort of kept she would always you know share things with me if ever i had anything she'd be like well you should try this why don't you try this blah, blah, blah. so finally i was like okay okay, okay i'll do it i'll try <laughs> <laughs> and i'll be honest some like a lot of it was you know well i do like natural stuff and i like this you know smells and everything of what she does give me to try so you know okay i guess i'll give it a try and that's pretty much how i started but then um really i was that basic person who was like eh, i'll just make my house smell good today or you know a couple times a week you know eh, it's okay yeah sure it's fine whatever oh i got a little itch i'll throw some peppermint on there or something you know you know, it barely using it, but I will say at some point I was like, you know, I'm going to make the switch of like my cleaners. Um, so then I got a uh, bottle of thieves, you know, and I fell in love with it. And then I got the laundry soap and learned how to stretch it out and realized that it had been five months and I still had laundry stuff left out <laughs> everything and then just slowly uh realizing I was gonna start switching more and more things over and wanted to stretch out how many you know the uses of my oils and what I could do with them I got into the um the monthly YL and you know started getting more and more points and then you know I was finally able to start you know doing this full switch over of things and using them way more and before you knew it I was like the girl who carries around my oils in her bag and if anyone had any issues I was like hold on I've got an oil for that you know so and here I am too with pretty good not fully switched but I, I get a lot <laughs> yeah I mean and if you do have like favorite products it's okay you know you're it's not just like YL and all be all like you only have to use you can only use YL like you can use other products as well mm -hmm. definitely yeah what are your favorite products so like I said my favorite products of course um I will say I like the laundry soap a lot I have a mixture that I put together um and use it uh I I'll be honest my husband is a very like he wants a little more smell or something and no matter what i do it's just not so like i do my laundry and he does his laundry <laughs> and there's, there's yeah. always that compromise exactly it's you know it's one of those things so if you are in that where your husband's like oils or something then so what <laughs> it's fine just do your thing you know if he wants to have his stuff washed in that then he can you know it's not worth the fight don't don't let that be the fight um he i i still have my cleaner that i use all the time um i've definitely learned there's certain oils that he does not like 
and I, I like the lavender, I can't put it in the air. I just have to put it on myself, you know, uh, for some reason, he just doesn't like that smell, which is crazy because it's one of the best smells. <laughs> um, but as far as my favorite oil, I will say here lately, it is anything eucalyptus. Really? Um, which is crazy because Jenny probably remembers, I called her when I got the eucalyptus blue in the mail and I was in my car and I was like, wow, this came in a fully like plastic, you know, wrapping that you have to open up. Like usually it's just in the tube, you know? It's like, what is that for? And I popped it open and it was like, oh, that's <laughs> Like you didn't even open the bottle, you just open the plastic of it and it just releases the strong smell into the air. And I called her going, oh my goodness, I've never, <laughs> um, I now have two bottles of it because I love it so much. And it's so relaxing to me for some reason, even though it's got that strong smell, it'll like relax me and revive me at the same time you know um it's like a cure-all and then obviously whenever i'm feeling um like i got a little too much sun a couple weeks ago <laughs> recently moved back to florida and the sun is now in full bloom and we're trying to get out and enjoy it and be on the boat and we ended up on the boat a lot longer than planned and like if we just we didn't reapply like we should have so um yeah the whole family was like don't touch me all day and i started looking at what the best oils was and sure enough my eucalyptus blue was on there so i did a little mixture of like coconut and eucalyptus and lavender and every night i just smothered myself in it and everything and i slept really good too <laughs> But yeah, that's probably my favorite right now. I do like, I think the main ones that I use are the eucalyptus blue. Um, whenever I'm doing my oils in the morning, again, my husband hates the smell. It is really strong, but I love the carrot, the carrot seed for some reason. Um, and it does, if you add it to your oils that you do, like your moisturizer or lotion, then it actually gives you a little bit of a glow. No, well, it's kind of like a DIY self-tanner, so, but um, that and the, I love lemongrass for when I go outside because it's, it doesn't, um, it doesn't react with the sun like the actual lemon does, but it's also a natural um, bug repellent, so I don't have to worry as much about the bugs when I'm out there, and it, yeah, and it's got just such a strong, great smell to it anyway, so, yeah. That's amazing. And tell us uh, what you're doing in Florida. What am I doing in Florida? Um, well, moved back to Florida. Um, as my husband is Navy, U.S. Navy, uh, used to work with Jenny's husband, and he got stationed here in Pensacola, Florida, uh, going to be an instructor at the schoolhouse here. And I am a realtor and property manager helping open um, an office here, um, trying to get things to go in. <laughs> just... Awesome, awesome. And if you guys need a realtor, especially if you're, in, if you're in Florida, please reach out to Joanna. She has the patience of a saint to be dealing with me. <laughs> um, do you have a website or anything that um, people can contact you? Yes. So actually, um, just to kind of give you, if you want an update with that, my, I, uh, the company I work for is Navy to Navy Homes. We're actually affiliated with Homes for Heroes. And if you are not familiar with that, what that means is that our company, if you buy or sell a home with us and you are one of the above, military, veteran, uh, police officer, firefighter, teacher, or healthcare worker, EMT, all first responders, all heroes, especially these days, 
you will get 25% back of commission to you. This does not have to go through closing costs. This does not have to go towards anything of the home. You can get a check in the mail for that 25% and go on vacation or buy a new couch or whatever you want with it. This is your money that you've earned and we're just giving back to you and that's our little way of saying thank you. So 850heroes.com. Check it out. You can find me on there. I'll get back with you and hopefully you can maybe even find a lender that will give back for you, inspectors that'll give back for you. Check it out, Homes for Heroes. If you fall into any of those care categories, just reach out and it'll come straight to me for Pensacola. Awesome. And again, the, all that info will be posted um, as a comment under this video, okay? Thank you. All right, so it's been a pleasure as always. Thank you so much for joining us. We love you. You, you forgot. Oh my goodness, yes. Thank you, thank you. See, that's why I keep people I join in my life. <laughs> um, well, go ahead <laughs> and tell them what happened. So literally right as I was like clicking the button, getting on here, my son was like, the post office, the postman's here. We're getting a box. And you won't believe the timing that Jenny had. Yes, my monthly order came in. So I'm going to unbox it. Only a couple things this month. But the funny thing is that when I got my emails and everything, I wasn't paying as close attention. I accidentally, don't be like me, <laughs> I accidentally forgot to change my order. So. I got the exact same thing that I got last month, but that's okay because number one is what did I get last month? It's summertime and I was just telling you about how we got too much sun, my sunscreen. So now I have two bottles, which is awesome. <laughs> um, I will say that I hadn't used this before. So when I got here and I got this, and I put it on, it it really is insane how I literally watch the drops roll off of me because it's so like waterproof, you know, um, like water just rolls off of it. It's not sinking into the skin like a lot of sunscreen does, you know, you put it on and, and you know, it, it rubs in and, you know, within an hour, you really should probably start applying if you're actually in the water. You could actually see it on top of the sunscreen, which was really cool. So, yeah. um, now I have two bottles, which is good because I spend a lot of time in the sun, maybe more than I should. <laughs> But that's okay. Um, and we have a big, hopefully, camping trip coming up on the beach. And we're going to be outside for like three days on the beach with no cover. So I'm going to need a lot of it for my family before. So, yeah. Um, the other thing that was in here was another bottle of tea tree oil. So honestly, you can't get enough of this because I put this on my face every night before I go to bed. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, I have a little mixture and I just, I have, I have it in this pump that I had before. So I just put it in there and I do the little drop. I rub it all into my hands and then I put it, the, it goes a long way. So don't add too much because when you wake up in the morning, your hair's gonna be all greasy otherwise. <laughs> so but you don't need much it's great for your skin it's great for your hands so you know if you get a little too much just rub it in and then put the last bit on your face um as jenny knows i had so many issues again we were in japan with my you know skin changing um whether it be from new environment stress everything <laughs> all the above, um, um, you know, just getting to a new age. When we got there, I was starting to, I was like hitting that over 35 point, you know, and you know, it, just, it, it makes a difference that those, those, you have these certain milestones where your skin just completely changes again. So, and then of course, moving back to Florida, it just changed all over again. So I think I've mostly got it under control, 
but I do definitely continue to use it. I was talking also about lemongrass and the bugs and tea tree is another one that you can use. You can use it with the lemongrass if you like the smell of the lemongrass or by itself and it makes a great bug away. So yes, even if you are sitting right outside on your deck, bring your diffuser out there, throw in a bunch of tea tree and some lemongrass and have it go out to the air right around you, the bugs will leave your table alone. If you don't want it on your skin at that time and you're just sitting right outside at your table. That's amazing. I'm learning so much. This is why I love these calls because I get to learn so much from you guys. Wow. Uh, I'm definitely adding tea tree to my skin. I, uh, I haven't used tea tree on my skin in a while and like, like, cause I just, I'll use it for cold sores. Um, because I get them from stress and then it literally dissipates. Like it's just gone within a few hours. Um, but I haven't used it on my skin specifically. Uh, like, and it's great for splinters and ingrown hairs. It opens your pores really naturally. So like whenever um, whenever I shave, that's what I also put on my legs really quick right afterwards because it, or wherever I shave, you know? And it, it makes sure that there's no gonna, not gonna be any really ingrown hairs. But if you do notice one and just wanna like spot it, then it does, it, go, it pulls it out. It's so cool. Like even my son had a splinter and he, he was like, oh, what do I do? It's like deep in there and everything. I told him to put this on. He had, he was like, it's not gonna work, whatever. And sure enough, he came out to me a couple hours later and was like, it's pulling out. It's so weird. <laughs> it just naturally starts drawing it out. Wow, that's amazing. I never thought I'd be writing that tea tree oil for skin, bug away, and splinters. <laughs> You're in here. And the grown hairs. Wow. I love how versatile our products are. Incredible. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you very much. We have learned uh, all these sorts of DIYs, and I'm sure people are going to be contacting you, asking you, like, give me the recipe. And guys, I don't know the recipes because I'm learning this just as much as you guys are. That's so awesome. Thank you very much for sharing all of your knowledge with us. We appreciate you. No problem. Thanks for having me. See ya. Bye.